Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. The little bird I saw today. Progress. Today as I was sitting in my living room I heard a bird hit my front window. The moment I heard it, I knew just how it felt. It was probably flying around, eating worms, enjoying the sunshine, just carrying on with its beautiful life. Then everything stopped. I got up to look at the bird, not knowing what to do or if I could help it. It was laying lifeless on the ground. I wondered if I should move it to the bin, or wait for nature to reclaim it. I stared at it for a long time. Eventually, I saw a little breath. Its little chest fell up and down, faster and faster. I imagined what must be going through its mind. Am I dead? Am I still alive? I knew the feeling. The bird eventually got back up to stand and it stood for a long time, not moving. Not knowing what to do. I knew that feeling too. After a long while it hopped forward a bit. Then it hopped forward a little further. The next time it hopped, it took to the sky. It had clearly been stunned, but was able to carry on. I don't know what life looks like for that bird now. Will it avoid shiny glass? Will it do it again? I don't know. I do know, that it lived and I will too. This is a beautiful post. I wish for the will to get back up. It's in you. Give yourself a little grace, time, and patience. Thank you. I wish that for you as well. I am still finding my way, however wobbly these legs may be. You aren't going to believe this, but the day before my D-Day in 2019 the same thing happened to me. A warbler hit my window and fell stunned to the ground. I held him and warmed him in my hands for a while before he recovered and flew off. I used that bird hitting window metaphor to describe my fresh emotions to my counselor, stunned, was just going through life when bam, unsure of what just happened to me but it really really hurt. And yes, now you and I both continue to fly. A little worse for wear, some scars, but we are alive and have better days ahead of us. Thank you for sharing, heart. Thank you for sharing your story. I know just how you feel. I wish you all the best on your way up. If this doesn't explain it, WTF does. Thank you. Put a sticker on the window as an additional reminder that even when you don't realize it, others can help you survive and soar. Shame people can't put red flag stickers on the cheating exes. Most of the time, the birds survive. Sadly, sometimes they don't. If that happens often, you can put a sticker on the window, and the birds won't fly into the window. A sticker of a red flag. I love this post I hope it gets a thousand upvotes. Thank you. I wanted to share what I was thinking, but don't really have anyone to share it with in my life. I'm glad this group is here. Beautiful reminder that life will be okay. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Great story fits well. Thank you. That is a brilliant analogy and so close to what it actually feels like. If I had an award I would give it. Keep pushing guys you'll take to the sky eventually. We all do. Thank you. I believe we will too. Wow this is such a good analogy. Don't worry you will be able to spread those wings and fly again. Some windows take a little bit longer to recover from when you never see it coming because it appears to be totally transparent when up close you realized it was just a painting of its surroundings. Thank you. I certainly didn't see it coming. I don't know how many of us ever do. A good reminder to avoid repeating things that cause such pain. You have a career in creative writing. Thank you. I'm so so sorry that you are going through this, no one should ever have to go through this. Your narrative of how you feel is so beautiful yet painfully true. Keep pushing forward, praying gesture. Thank you. I hope you're doing okay and finding your way as well. I really liked this, heart. Thank you. This analogy was spot on for me, except for the ending. 
After 28 years together and three kids and grandkids we co-grandparent better than when we were married, I still see her two to four times a week and haven't raised our voices in seven years. That being said, it does get better, I'm living proof. Great post. Life goes on. Thank you. This is perfect and illustrates the hesitance of flying again, trusting. Hope that bird and yourself are able to fly again without too much hesitance. Lovely post. Thank you. Thank you. Moments like this are the reason for my username. This is lovely. And strangely yesterday, I saw the craziest scene while on a walk with my parents. A Canadian goose flying with its pack, suddenly tumbled into a tree, a loud and scary noise, and I watched it fall to the ground. I freaked out. Then we watched it get up quickly, and stumble toward the lake, gaining more stability. Thank you for the reminder of seeing these moments in our own journey. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 